Great. So let's see what that's all about. We got some good news. I mean, uh, we got more shit to talk about, and that is another zone. Yeah. The Dragonflight Waking Shore Zone Preview. It's here. It's here. And it's ready. It's ready for us to see it. The Waking Shore is the first zone players will explore in Dragonflight. Located on the north side of the Dragon Isles, the Waking Shores holds the ancestral homes of both the Red and Black Dragonflights. It is home to some of the dragons in uh, Azura... Oh, and the Tuscar tribes got you. As well as the Jajardin, which are those dragon-looking guys. A race of elemental half-giants who enjoy hunting down dragons for sport. Uh, I take back what I said. I take back what I said. It is not the dragon. It's the giants, guys. Yes, that's who it is. On invitation by Alex Straza, heroes of the Horden Alliance arrive to aid the Red Dragon Flight in this vibrant, rolling land. Here, Rathian will call upon Azeroth's champions to help him reclaim the Black Dragon Flight Citadel from enemy hands. All right, let's check this zone out. Let's see. Mind you, all the streamers you've been watching playing, they haven't had access to this zone until today. Sam, check your Discord under add-ons whenever you get a chance. Sure, I will. Right after we finish this review of the zone. Yes. So, I mean, this this zone is beautiful. As all the zones are. <laughs> is that a kite? Okay, it's a kite. It's a dragon kite. I thought for a second he had a dragon pet attached to that rope. So this, this zone looks very, like, primordial, right? This zone looks very primordial. Again, in queue, please let me know. I'm only, I'm gonna only hold for a little bit longer. I do remember Brutal Slash. Okay, I'm gonna get these two boys in here, get some pumpers in here. Yeah, a lot of uh, primordial lava going on. These frogs are just hilarious. I don't know how they get to where they get, but they are everywhere in every zone. It's pretty good. It's got to become a mountable thing eventually. Those dragon frogs. Okay. More on this. Like a lot of uh, a lot of destroyed ruins in this zone as well. A lot of shit going on here. A lot of destruction. More lava pools, more frogs, more lava pools, more lava pools and frogs. This is a lava pool frog zone. Fogged up. One second, guys. Let me hit Orgamar. Yeah, I'm going to have to hit Orgamar. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, so th again, we know this, this zone has to do with the red dragon flights, so we see red dragon flight sigils out there and flags. Oh, that's a nice... Oh, is this a... Uh... So this mount, wasn't this mount part of the um, the six month sub? Wasn't this mount part? It looks like this is the flying, um, this is a flight path. If I had to bet, I'd say this is a flight path. So it looks like that mount is going to be used to fly around through flight paths. Now again, how useful are flight paths in the Dragon Isles? Probably not very useful. Considering dragon flying is exponentially faster. Way faster. So I wonder who would be using one of these in the first place. Yes, I know Ma Mag has an AH mount. Well, you guys want me to use it? You guys want me to actually use it? Okay, fine. Give me the summon back. I'll use Mag's AH mount. Again, more broken ruin style stuff. Um, oh, here's a settlement of engineers. Ooh, this is one of those dragons that we saw customized. We saw one of these that you can make this. You could literally make one that looks just like this. Sexy ass dragons. Oh, I love this. The trees growing out of the walls and shit. I love this. Like the nature retaking, retaking the zone kind of thing. Oh, a fire elemental. That looks like a new model for them. That's a model we haven't seen yet for these. Very nice. 
More fire elementals, more fire elementals. Fire slimes. A lot of fire elemental shit going on here. Yeah, there's just a lot of a lot of broken runes and a lot of lava. That's what this zone really looks like. Okay, we got more nature-esque looking stuff. Okay, here we have water elementals. So it looks like this is going to be like a very elemental heavy zone. Right? This looks like this zone is going to be all about the elements. If Bubbles, Localize, or Celib are here, let me know. Because I'm about to invite probably the last healer for this. Kind of looks like Azuna. It kind of does. It kind of does. Yeah, a lot, a lot of... Okay, so this this zone is more water elementals. Oh, here's a wind... Is that a wind elemental with a murloc on its head? <laughs> That's what it looks like. Looks like there's a murloc riding this wind, el wind elemental. What's up, J-Head? You are Bubbles. Alright, gotcha. Welcome. Yeah, no, this... this. Okay, so remember, this is all part of the same zone. These zones are massive, so they're... Uh, like, a lot of these zones, if you haven't noticed yet, look like multiple zones within a zone. Because of the sheer size of them. And the way the terrain changes and everything. Because that lava part of this zone is the same part as this green part here. Okay, here are these uh, giants that we talked about. So these guys are dragon killers. They're described as gi uh, a race of giants that kill dragons. Very cool looking. And remember we saw a dungeon preview... Where these dread, uh, these guys were like the main mobs in that dungeon. So, um, how good or bad these guys are, I'm still unsure, but I know we will be killing them. That's for sure. Killing them quite a lot. More, oh wow, look at this tent. Holy shit. This is some, I guess this is part of these, uh, this giant encampment here. This looks like a warlock style tent. So these guys kill dragons, and most likely this looks like it's made of dragon skin and bones. These guys do not fuck around. They kill. They hunt down dragons. Very cool. More lava frogs. More of these uh, Dejaradin. Oh, well, this guy's got like lava tattoos on him and everything. These are a pretty cool looking race, I have to say. Oh, yeah. We know this, uh, this elephant here. Or should I say like lava elk? There are no elephants in World of Warcraft. Just elks. This looks like um, the, one of the mounts, right? We did see that as a, a bunch of the mount previews that one of these would be mountable. So that's nice. That's nice to see. Again, if you are in queue and in stream, let me know. <clears throat> more of the same here. More of the same. The Jardin. Dead dragons. Yeah, these De Jardin don't give a fuck. They're just killing dragons. Okay, so now the zone, it looks like it changes again, the aesthetic of it. So this is like a red dragon flight area. Oh, this red dragon flight area looks like it's been raided, though. It got destroyed. All the statues are broken. The whole, the whole area is broken. Rubus, yes. Rudus, I should say. Welcome. Please let me know, guys, if the music's too loud. Sometimes I, I fucking hire it too much. Again, part of this zone. More fire elementals. So these... So the other guys look like more like lava elementals, and these guys look more like fire. So it looks like with the, the new models look like they're more like lava-related. We haven't really seen elementals that kind of look like that. I mean, I guess maybe in... Uh, Negrand kind of had? Well, Negrand only had... No, Negrand really had fire elementals, not lava. But here they are. These lava guys look pretty cool. Look at the fucking the bullfrogs. These dragon frogs. They don't give a shit. They're just changing. They're just chilling. Music is a little loud. Tiny, tiny bit. Nah, it's perfect. Tiny, tiny bit. We'll just lower tiny, tiny bit. Okay, let's continue. Yes. The Tuscar. The Tuscar, so the Tuscar are native to this zone. And we're going to see a lot of them, the Tuscar encampments and stuff. Again, the, the custom, the amount of detail on Tuscar tells me one thing and one thing only. Look at how the gear fits them even. 
Uh, these guys are going to be playable. Before the end of the expansion, the Tuskar will be... Holy crap, look at this. Look at this. Giant Tuskar uh, stones here. Oh my god, even another. There's three of them. I didn't even realize it. That's funny. What do I do to get an invite? Tell me, queue up and tell me your name. As of right now, I'm, I'm, stri I'm straight up inviting uh, viewers. So queue up and tell me your name, Jarvan. And welcome, by the way. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Uh, Irvin Tychondrius, gotcha. Come, let us lay waste to this realm. Jervin, thank you for the follow and welcome to our Scourge. For all of you guys who are new here, this is Pug Raid Central. This is what we do 7 a.m. Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. Monday through Friday, we are here Pug Raiding. And right now we're going through some zone previews of the Waking Shore while we wait for group to fill. Last shot at the Jailer today. Is that a baby Tuscar? That is. And he's got a baby otter. <laughs> Look at the details. Yeah, this is chill. This is definitely a chill stream. Definitely a chill stream. Wow, look at the otter mounts, man. So again, the 500 mount, I mean, this guy don't give a fuck. He's riding it. This is like, this looks just like the 500 mount achievement. 500 mounts, you get the, you get the same one that this NPC is riding. Nice. We got ducks in this zone, too, now. I mean, Warcraft needed ducks, so that's good. That's good. Yeah, these guys, the amount of customizations that we see on the Tuskar, like I said, all it tells you is they are going to be playable before the end of the expansion. Another flight path, it looks like. Again, I'm not sure what the use of a flight path would be in the Dragon Isles unless you want to AFK and fly somewhere. But other than that, I don't see the point in a flight path considering dragon flying is just... Like I said, exponentially faster. More fallen ruins. So we see a common theme here. We're probably going to find out either... These ruins, I don't know if they're necessarily destroyed over time. Oh, look at this. This is like some kind of elemental right here. I'm not sure if these ruins were just destroyed through like, you know, through time. She looks like a titan or something. Or, um, or whether they were destroyed because something got to them. But I guess we'll find out. So a nice little encampment here. It looks like a red dragon encampment. Or a blood elf encampment. Blood elves and Suramar elves maybe coming here? This definitely looks bl like blood elf architecture. Yeah, there's a banner over here that very looks very blood elf-esque too. So I wonder if this is like uh, some kind of horde encampment and over here is an alliance one. Although this just looks like a Miner's Guild tavern or something. Oh wow, this is pretty. So again, the variety, and this is a single zone. We're still going through a single zone. We've seen lava, we've seen water, um, broken runes, and now we're seeing just a, a very lush green environment. All in the same area. I love this, this is so pretty. So this looks like a very like dragon, high dragon populated area. And this, this this area is not broken. So this is red dragon flight over here. Okay, and then we see the city. So this is the hub, main hub city. So the main hub city will be here as well. And this zone is described as the first zone that we will see in dragon flight. Okay. So yeah, now we see, we've seen a lot of these photos already. Photos of the city. This is this is the drag theater your mother to, your girlfriend told you not to worry about, the one that everybody wants to make but no one can make. We need beefier drag theater. We need drag theater that look like this. Oh, there's Alex Straza. Yeah, so there uh, looks like they're they're healing some eggs. Okay, this picture I know is from that um, that emerald pool or whatever it's called. This is from that dungeon. And I thought this looked really nice when they showed it in the dungeon preview video. Very cool. We got dragons just chilling on the rocks. Th this actually looks like, um, you know, the part of the cinematic where the dams open up and the water comes flowing down? That's what it looks like this is. This looks like the part of the zone where, the, you know, the, from that cinematic where the dams are letting out the water and everything is reopening and the dragon isles are coming back to life. It's always cool to see a cinematic part a part of a cinematic in the game I like that black all the black dragonflight areas look very uh, 
and they're like, uh, they're, what's it called? They're like little tower here, the zone, or flags. They all look kind of tattered. So the black dragonfly we know is in disarray, right? And they're looking for a new leader and shit. We'll see who who ends who ends up picking up this leadership here. Rathian is is a choice, and then we know there's another guy. I forgot his name, but there is another. I believe this is a a raid. I can't remember the exact name of this place, but I think this is the new raid. Oh, and we see more of these uh, Dejard in here. Back to a lava zone. Remember, all part of one zone. This is massive. Yeah, we got a dragon with lava. I mean, who doesn't want to see a dragon statue head with lava coming out of its mouth? Okay, so we're back to some very dark... Okay, this looks like a very Desjardin populated area. Very lava Desjardin. I wonder what this fortress is all about. This thing looks intense. A lot of black dragon flight activity going on here, too. Ebonhorn from Legion was another. Yes. Ebonhorn from Legion was another choice to potentially lead the Black Dragon Flight, but there is um, there is another who came up. We talked about him not too long ago. He's a he's a tune who's been a while, around for a while and one I hadn't considered. Oh look, they got this guy. They got some Desjardins locked up here. So it looks like the Black Dragon Flight are trying to retake this area or something. That's what that whole castle was about. It must belong. It must have belonged to the Black Dragon Flight at some point. Here we are, back to lush green air. Oh, dragon flying around here is going to be great. A lot of swooping areas. A lot of big areas to ride around in. I mean, I love it. I love Come, the zone. Again, it's all part of one zone. Waste to this realm. Ki Kiestran. Kiestran. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the to the to our scourge. I'm sure I, I'm sure I fucked that up. Kiestran. Thank you, thank you again for the follow, and welcome to our Scourge. Well, that's all the pictures for this zone. Again, beautiful. Love it. Great stuff. Great stuff. Well, uh, Blizzard hasn't been only announcing, um, you know, Dragonflight-related stuff, but uh, there was another announcement just yesterday. What's up, Saw Your Name and Group Finder? Yes, thank you for the follow, Key. Yes, we are. We're building up group right now to kill the Jailer. One more shot at AOTC for anyone who doesn't have it. Live on stream right here. You found the best stream around. The best morning while wow stream around. Good morning, Invasions. How's it going? Logging into Homicide. Okay, sounds good. The Torn Waffle Trains Mog is kind of fire. Yes, w Waffle Trains Mog. I have not seen that. Who's going to spend money to swoop, though? Spend money to swoop? What are you talking about? You don't gotta spend money. It's fucking energy. You talking about dragon riding? 